Hello, it's 2 April 2016, and China threatens war with the U.S. after meeting with Obama at a nuclear conference that was supposed to promote peace. Remember, he has the Nobel Peace Prize, and he's pushing for war. The world's financial system is now in place. The dollar is no longer needed for world trade. Article 9 of the Joint Russian-Chinese Pact has now been invoked. That is a pact that was signed two weeks after the numbskulls handcuffed me at a Bank of America for stopping the U.S.-Iranian nuclear war. Obama, nine years later, is promoting the war. Russia and China are ready for it. China and Russia prepare for war against the United States Corporation and their allies. On the 19th of April, the AIIP, the new Chinese SWIFT bank, goes online, and this completely bypasses the dollar for all international trade. The dollar will no longer be the world currency. It's over. The dollar will be hollow the 1st of April. The dollar will begin to fall to the 1st of June. That's what God said a year ago. Obama responds by sending a fleet to Yangsha Island to seize the mountain of gold there to preserve the U.S. corporate empire. This is the Philippines. This is China. This is Taiwan. Here's where all the elected officials of Taiwan went after the U.S. Russian-sponsored Mao Zedong took all of U.S. Russian-sponsored Mao Zedong. U.S. Russian-sponsored Mao took all of China. This is the South Chinese Sea. These are the disputed islands. Scarborough Shoal, Yangtze Island has been jointly managed by the Philippines and the Chinese peacefully since 1945. However, they discovered an island of gold three years ago, and the U.S. has been trying to seize that mountain of gold ever since. And now with the dollar having to support itself with gold, and it doesn't have enough gold, they demand to take Yangtze Island and the mountain of gold on Yangtze Island. That has been painted out by Google. What else is new? Nothing we see in the United States is real. This is a big island with a mountain of gold. It's all been painted out. I found it on a Chinese travel brochure. Incredible, isn't it? A Chinese travel brochure telling the truth. Everyone is sick and tired of fighting to preserve the U.S. drug corporate empire. Even the members of the Pentagon... They know they'll be the killed first, and they know they're being sent in as a suicide mission. And when they die, the demon-possessed spirits are going way, way, way down below and on lower harmonics. They know this. The first three targets of the war will be D.C., the Pentagon with three bunker buster bombs. Russia's already set that up. They're already local. They just take a plane off and bam, bam, bam. And there are nu two nuclear weapons, not one white-colored football, but two, that are now ready to go down two particular air vents. And the third target will be underneath Denver, the underground United States base. There will be no place to hide for the U.S. corporate leaders because they're all chipped. Russia and China have their locations. Remember, the VA sells military records around the world. That means our information security was compromised. You morons in the CIA. That means they have the location of every leader. You've got to plug the hole. You've got to stop the boat from sinking. You have to stop the VA from selling military records around the world. But you're not smart enough to do that, President Obama, Presidents Bushes, and Clinton, are you? Even your underground hideouts under New Zealand and Brazil have been located and targeted. The main congressional underground base has been restocked with new cyanide gas to welcome the new congressmen and senators as the nuclear war starts. In addition, all of Agartha will be destroyed in this exchange. So he has said it, so it shall be. Be ready, folks, and pray for your families. I'm wondering where I, we got the information. First of all, let's look at this. A little bit. Absinthos, the goddess of lies, Lucifer. We all heard about the stars called Wormwood. It's not Wormwood, it's Absinthos, the goddess of lies, Lucifer. Lucifer has come in the name of Obama. This is in Revelation 8, 10, and 11. It's not Absinthos, 
will show you. We may be able to show you. We may not be able to. It may focus. It may not. That word, wormwood, that's Ephesians, sorry. The word wormwood is abthintos. We've been lied to. It's not a meteorite. It's Lucifer. It also talks about the black horse represents both abthintos, Absinthos and Apollyon. And there's also the goddess Epiethia in Ephesians 5. We see God on the sons of disobedience. It's not disobedience. It's Apatheus. Now the reason these are important is because the different gods that are going to do different things in the last days are mentioned in the Bible. Which means that the goddess of lies is here. It's not Wormwood. It's the goddess of lies, Lucifer, Absinthos. Obama is Lucifer's false messenger. Absinthos displaces Apollyon, and Absinthos is then displaced by Apiethia. The Bible is very specific on names. Absinthos is not Apiethia. Obama is Absinthos. He has displaced Apollyon, the Rothschilds, and now they will be displaced by the dragon from the east. And a third of the oceans are dead. That's how we know what time it is. This is the nuclear industry summit that Obama went to. Wonderful! The summit of March 30th and 31st, he was supposed to create peace. But he is the father of lies. He is the false messenger. He brought the world leaders here, and they're so afraid they had to have Police with machine guns. Now, Erdogan was there from Egypt, and I don't know if you say Aragon or Erdogan. I call it Erdogan. That's how it's spelled. Um, he hosted the dignitaries from 60, 56 nations in a security summit. It was not what they claimed it was. It was a security summit, including Prime Minister David Cameron from Britain, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, French President Francois Holland, etc., etc. It was a security conference on nuclear weapons. And Obama shot off his mouth so much that Xi warned against threatening China's sovereignty and national interests. China has warned the U.S. that it will protect its sovereignty in the disputed waters of the South Chinese Sea, the Yangsha Island, and rejects attempts to use international law and freedom on navigation as a pretext to undermine its national security interests. China and the Philippines have jointly managed those islands for 70 years, and the U.S. is sticking its nose in it because the U.S. dollar is going down the tubes. China will firmly safeguard the sovereignty and related rights of the South Chinese Sea. U.S. Navy deploys a small armada headed to the U.S. Stennis to the South China Sea to try to create war. Freedom of navigation drills. We're going to call it we're going to call the nuclear war a nuclear war for freedom. Obama is insane. His White House has gone insane. There is a Chinese post that has is concluded the Jiangshan Gold Deposits underwent a complex mineralization project. The mineralization model of the Yangshan Gold Deposits is therefore established on this basis. It talks about Yangshan Gold Deposits. Most of the references to the gold in Yangshan Island or Yangsha Island, have been eliminated. But here in an obscure reference, this is not Yangsha Port in Shanghai. This is Yangshan Island. There's two different items here. It's confusing. China invokes feared Russian defense pact. We talked about that. Um, that concluded the immediate stationing off the western Pacific coast region of the United States, a flotilla of attack submarines. People's Republic of China invoked Article 9 of the Sino-Russian Treaty, notifying the Federation that it had begun offensive, defensive, offensive military movements to protect its vital national interests. Stationing. We talked about the Chinese submarines off the west coast of the United States. Here is the proof. According to this report, China invoking Article 9 of the treaty comes less than 24 hours after President Xi Xi 
Jinping issued a blunt warning of war to President Obama, stating China will firmly safeguard its sovereignty. Well, we just read that. Continue, then in a formal People's Republic of China, Red China, invoking Article 9, the diplomatic pouch, international legal protections and procedures to the Security Council Chairman, President Putin, this report continues, Chinese authorities state that their vital national interests are now under immediate threat due to the United States and the South Chinese Three. See, the possible ascension of U.S. Presidency of Hillary Clinton, who has threatened war against the People's Republic of China. Hillary threatens nuclear war. There it is, folks. Hillary has threatened nuclear war against China. If she is elected, there will be nuclear war. Donald Trump can be contained and worked with. A direct threat of nuclear war was made against China by South Korea and the United States. Obama, now, it says later in the article, and I'll let you read it, Donald Trump has threatened to impose a tax against China, but China threatened to impose the same tax on the United States. Donald Trump can be worked with. Ted Cruz is a sellout. His wife's on the Council on Foreign Relations, and she's part of Goldman Sachs and intends to strip AIIP uh, empty of any money. Sorry about that. Ministry of Foreign Affairs to immediately begin all needed steps to alleviate this conflict, assess the potential to harm the national interests of the Federation, take all necessary means needed to protect the citizens of Russia both at home and in potential war zones. What that means is Russia's deployed their entire fleet. They have something that's much bigger than what the U.S. can respond to now. Um... The Obama administration would not recognize any air defense identification zone that China might proclaim in the South Chinese Sea. The U.S. is forcing a war with China. This could be the guns of August, the starting of a major nuclear war. Here it is, folks. The coming war started by the man of peace, Obama, Absinthos. There it is. There's, there's not much more we can say. Pray for your families. We talk about uh, buying food and water. We actually promoted two companies. I don't care where you get it. Just prepare your family. Um, food, water, toilet paper, ammunition, heat, and communications. There are so there are probably more than a dozen missiles flying over our head in round circle orbits that will knock out our grid. And the man of peace, Obama, who starts this nuclear war, does not plan to knock out Chinese or Russian grids. He intends to destroy the United States. You and I both know that. Here is, in God we trust, God, Absinthos, the goddess of lies, the Roman axis, the Roman laurels. We answer, the United States answers to Rome. There he is. He doesn't care about you and I. That's a fake picture. This, however, is what he intends to do. You've all seen that. He's Absinthos. He's the messenger, the false messenger of Absinthos. He is the false messenger of the goddess of the skies. Lucifer. Like God or goddess, whatever you want to call him. Um, this is so true. He's just going to let the United States get run over by a foreign threat. This man, you can call him a pig, you can call him a fascist, whatever you want to call him. He is the false, he's, he's Lucifer's false prophet. That's what the Jesuits call the President of the United States. Coming to you live, Dr. William B. Mount, God, thank you and God bless. And be ready, will you? Just be ready. Hello, it's 2 April 2016 and China threatens war with the U.S. after meeting with Obama at a nuclear conference that was supposed to promote 
Peace. Remember, he has the Nobel Peace Prize and he's pushing for war. The world's financial system is now in place. The dollar is no longer needed for world trade. Article 9 of the Joint Russian-Chinese Pact has now been invoked. That is a pact that was signed two weeks after the numbskulls handcuffed me at a Bank of America for stopping the U.S.-Iranian nuclear war. Obama, nine years later, responds by sending a fleet to Yangsha Island to seize the mountain of gold there to preserve the U.S. corporate empire. This is the Philippines. This is China. This is Taiwan. Here's where all the elect is promoting the war. Russia and China are ready for it. China and Russia prepare for war against the United States Corporation and their allies. On the 19th of April, the AIIP, the new Chinese SWIFT bank, goes online, and this completely bypasses the dollar for all international trade. The dollar will no longer be the world currency. It's over. The dollar will be hollow the 1st of April. The dollar will begin to fall to the 1st of June. That's what God said a year ago. Obama re 